Arizona mule deer over the counter tag, do it yourself hunt. Oh my gosh. I, I traveled the, the state from north to south and just trying to find rut activity. Well, I just arrived in Arizona and got off the main road a little ways. I saw a herd of elk and no deer yet. Gonna look for a spot to camp, set up camp, and then tomorrow look for deer. Hopefully I see some. It's pretty cold. No deer yet. Well, I'm in a new area today and it's pretty dry, not a lot of water. Um, ran into a rancher who said that he sees deer, so <laughs> I know they're out here, but I'll be surprised if I see him. Saw uh, four does today and one Forky, and it's literally just a two point. It's not a two by two, it's a two point. And uh, he's out there 800 yards away bedded. I'm gonna get a little closer to get a better look at him. Today was day two, and it was better than Day one, I saw two bucks and I saw 13 does. Um, it just doesn't seem like it's the rut, even though that's supposedly what's going on right now. So maybe I'm a little bit early for that, but I'm gonna be here for a while. So hopefully the trip turns around. Well, uh, it's day three and um, pretty much haven't done any hunting today. I've hit three different spots and it's all been pretty, but um, there's not a lot of deer in this part of uh, the unit that I'm in. So I did see a doe and a fawn. It was a miracle. I was dri driving in my truck and look over an edge, thought I saw a deer and it wasn't. It was a cactus, I drove another 20 feet and then looked down and there was a doe and a fawn. And I don't know what they're drinking for water, there's seriously no water anywhere. But I think I'm gonna relocate to a different part of the state, different unit. So that is the plan. Go somewhere else. I got up on a high point and was glassing this evening and saw one doe and uh, very well could be more deer with it, but that's all for now. That was fun. I tried out an area out here in the desert and saw one doe. There could be more deer with it, but it's just the daytime activity is just so limited. Um, moving just in the evenings for a little bit makes it pretty difficult to stalk any deer out here and it's not exactly quiet either so check that one off the list it's been a good time gonna head somewhere else
I just got to a new spot and started glassing and turned up 13 does in one buck. And he's like a wide fork of all I've seen so far in Arizona has been a fork of And the good news is that they're showing red behavior, so I'm driving three and a half hours today paid off. That played out pretty good. Ended up seeing a total of 12 does, 12 to 13 does, something like that, and then two bucks, uh, both fork and horns. One of them was a coos buck, and he was up on top of the mountain, and I wasn't able to get any film of him. But pretty excited for tomorrow. It's a first time. <laughs> it's been a pretty tough hunt until I caught a lucky break and saw these deer feed out. But I mean, you can look all around this country and not find another deer, and then all of a sudden there's a group of 12. So. This morning, the big forky went over the hill and bedded with his uh, does. And he ran off the four point. And the four point is in a very stockable location. And even though the forky is a more mature deer, I think I'm going to go after the four point. And so right now, I've got to make about a mile and a half of loop to get up behind him. He's not in a very easy spot to stalk, but I think I have just enough cover as long as the wind's right to get in on him. Let's see what happens. Got to 90 yards and then I felt the wind hit the back of my neck. So I pop over the rise and there he is looking at me. And then he gave like two seconds and took off. Those deer all bedded in the big buck. I know exactly where he is. So I'm gonna sneak down this creek bottom and get up on the hillside. The wind's gonna be in my favor, but I'm approaching from below, which is not easy.
I've seen like eight forked horns in this area and there was big forks and now this is wide forks. Wide forks is like 27 wide. It's pretty sweet. Just waiting for the afternoon to see if they'll get up and start running around like this morning. shot on a buck and I think I drifted a little bit back so I'm gonna give him plenty of time. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm still in shock. Yesterday, my legs were shaking. I couldn't get any closer than 80 yards because it was wide open between him on a hillside and the does, but the wind was right. So I just hung out there for literally four and a half hours yesterday. It was starting to get dark. And then right then he stood up, stood over his doe. I knew the distance. I had plenty of time to anchor in, pin in, and he was broadside. And I knew my shot looked a little far back and, and it was, but um, I just gave him overnight and um, not to bump him because I figured that there wouldn't be a ton of blood to follow. But it actually looks like I caught lung and um, he probably expired uh, pretty quickly last night. So, um, so yeah, I recovered him. And uh, he's a good buck. It's still blown away um, at this deer. Uh, he's just a really good forky. Um, I come down here to Arizona with expectations not really to fill a deer tag, but just to kind of learn the state. And I bounced around, I covered like six or seven units. I've seen one four point and about 10 forked horns and uh, a couple spikes. And then this guy, and he's coming home with me. Woo! I can't believe it. He's, he looks to be a pretty old buck. Um, he's got that white face. Well, got them all quartered up. There's all his quarters. I am going to start packing meat. Um, it's only about eight, nine, 10 miles, somewhere in there. But good news is that I have a road right below me, and then I'll drive those eight to nine, 10 miles out. <laughs> 